What's up guys, welcome back to tonight's video where I'm gonna share with you my entire nighttime skincare routine. It's pretty different than my morning skincare routine or any other like summer routine or winter routine. The nighttime skincare routine is something that I do every single night and I absolutely swear by. The nighttime skincare routine is meant to moisturize, hydrate, and really penetrate deep into the skin. So when you wake up, your skin is looking so youthful. I've got all my favorite products around me and like, Oh, I'm just ready to dive in. But before we dive into the skincare routine, I wanna make sure that you guys are subscribed right down below. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers, you guys. I can barely believe it. My channel is growing faster than ever. I feel like I keep saying this and I keep like wowing myself and outdoing myself. So if you're ready to hear my Benjamin Button nighttime skincare routine to basically look 10 years old when you wake up tomorrow morning, keep on watching. All right guys, so I am fresh from the shower and let's just jump right into my nighttime skincare routine. I didn't even wash my face in the shower, but I mean, as you can tell by my wet hair, I am fresh as a daisy, but I was waiting to sit down with you guys and share with you my nighttime skincare routine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wet my face. I use my Evian facial mist. You guys know that is my favorite facial mist to moisten the face. It's just like so much better than tap water. I can't even explain it. Now, because this is my nighttime skincare routine, at the end of the day, your skin is really full of pollution, dirt, all that nastiness. So I'm gonna go in with my Biotherm Biosource Purifying Foaming Cleanser. Now you guys know, I've talked about this here on my channel a little bit before. I love this Biotherm Cleanser. It's a clay-based cleanser that really gets those pores nice and clean. It's also an anti-pollution wash, so it's really gonna penetrate those pores to pull out all of that dirt and sebum. If you live in a big city, this is a cleanser that you need because listen, your skin just gets so clean. <gasps> oh, you guys, this is one of my favorite cleansers for nighttime. It smells like green flowers. Like if you picture like a beautiful green flower, that is what this cleanser smells like. And to get those pores extra clean, I'm just gonna use my Clarisonic and just glide this gently over the skin. You guys know I love the Clarisonic. I probably love the Clarisonic more than, oh, I don't even know. It's just one of my favorite skin products and it's one of the skincare tools that I recommend the most to get beautiful glowing skin. It gets your skin up to six times cleaner than your hand because you wanna make sure you're getting out all of that gunk, all of that dirt, so that you have flawless skin. I also wanna say, if you're wearing heavy makeup throughout the day, it is important to double cleanse your skin, especially at the end of the day. So that's where you wanna use an oil-based cleanser as your pre-cleanse, or maybe a cleansing balm, like the Clinique cleansing balm, the take the day off or take it all off balm, one of my all-time favorites. Oh, you guys, I just love the Clarisonic. I mean, Clarisonic, if you're out there listening, hook me up, I love you. Now I'm just gonna give my face a quick rinse. I'll meet you guys right back here. I'm back and I'm ready to attack. All right, so now that your skin is cleansed and prepped, ooh, I just love a good cleansed face, especially at the end of the day. You guys know it just feels so fresh to just wash off the day. Now, next up, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a facial mist. You guys know facial mists are so important in my skincare routine, and they're just as important in my nighttime skincare routine. I'm gonna go ahead and just mist my face gently all over. Now, this is gonna work as a toner, a hydrator, and really act as that first level of hydration. Because this is a mist and a water-based mist, it's gonna penetrate the skin right away. It's gonna get that skin soft and supple. All of those natural and essential oils are gonna soothe the skin. You guys know I just love a facial mist. Okay, so my skin's already feeling a high hundred times better than it was. It's cleaned and it is ready to accept all the products that we are about to pamper ourselves with. They're going to sink so deep into the skin. I'm so excited. So next up, I'm going to go in with a toner and I'm using Paracone MD's Cosmeceutical Firming Facial Toner. Now you guys know, I've mentioned this a couple times on my channel here before. I love this facial toner. It took me a little bit of time to get into because it kind of burns the skin. It smells a little bit like mouthwash, but over time I've learned to love the hydrating sensation. It's so refreshing. Now this is a facial firming toner, so it works at firming, toning, and tightening the skin. And you know that normally I love the Clarence Chamomile Daily Toner, but I've been trying to expand my box and try other products. This is one that I'm really liking. It's so refreshing and it smells like mint, so it goes great kind of with that whole bathroom vibes. If you're brushing your teeth at the same time as you're doing your skincare routine, you feel like minty fresh, you feel awake, you feel alive. And you guys know one of my favorite hacks here on my channel. If you're still using a cotton pad or a cotton ball to apply your toner, stop. You can put it right into your hand and just press it deep into the skin. Not only does the heat kind of activate and push it deep into the skin, but it also penetrates a lot deeper and you don't lose any product soaking up into the cotton pad. This is one of the greatest hacks, one of the greatest skincare hacks, 
I think I found. Now because this is my nighttime skincare routine that's going to contain retinol, I'm going to keep all of my other products at a really basic minimum because I don't want any products to react badly with the retinol. Retinol can have some weird reactions with some weird ingredients, so it's best just to keep every other product simple and safe, which is exactly what we're doing. So next up, normally I would use a serum, but instead I'm going to be using my Laneige Balancing Emulsion. An emulsion is just a really gentle, light moisturizer that you can apply in place of a serum. Because it's a very light texture, it can go in the same step as a serum would normally go, which is after your facial toner. This is really just going to help to balance the skin and prepare it for the retinol that I'm about to apply. Now you could use an emulsion after a serum because it is a little bit heavier than a serum, but still lighter than your typical cream. So I'm just going to apply this all over the skin. Ooh, in an upward motion. I'm just going to get all of that lymphatic drainage, push out all of that ugh, grossness, push out all those salts, push out all those chips, push out all those candy bars. Oh, push it all away. All right, so because the next step in my nighttime skincare routine is gonna be my retinol application, I'm just gonna let my skin dry because you wanna make sure you're applying retinol to clean, dry skin because you just want it to penetrate that top layer, not deep into the skin, just kind of that top layer to help exfoliate and slough it off. So I'm gonna let my skin dry down. I'll meet you guys right back here. All right guys, so it's been about 10 minutes and my skin is completely dried down. Now next up, we're gonna go in with my Prescription Strength Retin-A. Now you guys know I absolutely love a Retin-A. Right now I'm using Tretinoin Stiva 0.01%. I'm obsessed with retinol, you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a pea-sized amount and get it ready to apply all over the skin. I've done a couple different videos on retinol. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the skin, nice and even, just a little light layer. I like to use my retinol every single night, so I just do a little pea-sized amount, just kind of dab it around the skin. Make sure not to get it too close to the eye, but make sure to get it close enough that you target if you have any little sunspots under there, like I do. It's one of the most sensitive areas of your skin, so play by ear, see if it works for you, but I like to get it right up kind of under the eye just like at the top of the orbital bone. So I've done a couple different videos on retinol, tretinoin, retinin A. There's just so many different forms of vitamin A. You guys can check out the videos that I did on them. I'll link them in cards right around here or down below. Retin A exfoliates the skin, it gets rid of fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, I mean, you name it, acne. Retin A is absolutely incredible, and it's one of the only skincare ingredients that are actually proven for anti-aging. So if you're not using a prescription strength of Retin A, I mean, Come on. Now my dermatologist did say if you're using a prescription strength retinin A, you definitely want to be using a night cream or a cream on top of the retinol because it's going to make your skin peel. It's going to make it really dry. So tonight I'm going to be using my Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is one of the lightest overnight sleeping masks I've ever used, which is why I like to use it. This overnight mask is one of the most popular overnight masks in the world, you guys. They say that one is sold like every few seconds or something. I wouldn't necessarily say it's one of my favorite face masks because I don't find it super moisturizing. I find it a little bit lighter than a night cream, to be honest. But tonight we're gonna go in and we're gonna apply just a nice healthy dab. Oh, I just love the smell of all the Laneige products, you guys. They smell really refreshing. Like the color is blue and the packaging is blue and they also smell blue. So I'm gonna take this product and just press it over my skin, really seal in that retinol, really hydrate the skin. Sometimes I'll go on a bender and I'll use an overnight mask every single night, especially in the winter when the weather's really dry and harsh and your skin is cracking. I'm gonna take this all down the neck because we don't want a turkey neck. We want a nice snatched neck. Oh, let's just take a moment of silence and just like massage our necks. Now, if this isn't beautifully hydrated skin that is ready to become sleeping beauty, I don't know what is. And that, guys, is it for my nighttime skincare routine. Because it involves retinol, I really like to keep all the products simple and basic just so they don't react poorly with the retinol because retinol is the star of my nighttime skincare routine. Everything from the toner, the emulsion, everything is really light and gentle and really going to help to comfort the skin and nourish the skin while that retinol is really going to do its work in lifting up fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, acne. I mean, this is just like the best nighttime skincare routine. The proof is in the pudding, honey. A proper nighttime skincare routine is going to change your life, guys. Mixed with proper sleeping, proper eating, and proper skincare routines, you can have beautiful, glowing, flawless skin. If you guys have any favorite overnight products, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Or if you just want to say hello, let me know down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to talk to you guys. If you want to hang out with me even more between now and the next video, which is just in a couple of days, you can watch more videos right here. And lo and behold, you can subscribe too, right here. Until the next video, guys, if you made it to the end of this video, you know you are my superstar. You're my number one. I love you. Until the next video, guys, I can't wait to see you then. Bye, guys. Happy sleeping.